How is that for a gorgeous sight? The Washington Monument here in the District of Columbia, so beautifully framed in the sunlight. It's the NBA on 2K Sports with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. Missing a valued contributor, that can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. And for Washington, Hachimura out there with Alex Len. Then it's Avdia. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Matthews in at the two. It'll be the Wizards off the tip. Now Westbrook. Goes up to the stripe. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Westbrook's got the game going here with the first basket for the Wizards. Giannis kicks to Lopez. Outside Holiday. Matthews against DiVincenzo. The drive by Giannis. Rebound, Washington. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Outside Westbrook. Now, here's Avdia. Defended by Middleton. Clock at six. Hachimura, the pass to Matthews. And it's off from three-point range. On offense here, the Bucks. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Passes to Anadokounmpo. Avdia with the rebound. And our Hall of Famer David Aldridge had a chance to speak with Scott Brooks. David? Thanks, Kevin. I expect this to be an inside-out kind of game. This team has a lot of shooters who can really get going once they hit a few. We'll see if they can get on a roll from out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. You know, hard to create spacing without the threes. Well, when you play with the level of focus and energy level that Rui brings nightly, Hachimura able to create that second chance opportunity. Pass to Lopez. Back to Holiday. And the pass to Giannis. For three, Middleton drills it from outside. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. And here's Matthews. Following the three-pointer by Chris Middleton. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Len. Jacks up a three. And he's good on the three ball. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Launches it. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Middleton. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get his shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Now here's Westbrook. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Holiday. Westbrook with the block. Oh, my goodness. Russell Westbrook twice on the pipe sends that shot back. My goodness. Here's Giannis, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic ah. is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll, in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, one having shot. a sense of how one perimeter shot. players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still yes. terrific 
Uh, and, and I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and, and the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Still A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And, and early in a the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. One fifty-three left to play here in the first. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. No good on the quick three. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. None of it feels like an exaggeration. Here's Westbrook. Giannis Antetokounmpo making his last shot. This is it to Abdiya. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Bucks leading by four. Lopez outside. Off target from outside. For Washington, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Inside, stolen by Middleton. Here's Anta Takumbo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Giannis has got seven. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Brown is checked in for Avdia. Troy. To end the run and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot it. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. The Bucks have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Good on the second free throw. 46 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Len. Westbrook kicks to Matthews. On the wing, Brown. Defended by Middleton. And it's Brown missing. They hold the early advantage on the glass. And so Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. They lead by seven. Shot and game clock separated by five. Middleton on the wing. Over Brown. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And here's Westbrook from the arc. No good that time. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. This is what Giannis Antetokounmpo recently told us when he was asked about his goals this past offseason. For me personally, I just want to get better. I want the team to get better. I want me to get better individually and um, just win the whole thing. 
And for Giannis Greg, the consistency from range has been a focal point. Uh, the more accurate he is from outside, the wider the driving lanes become, making him nearly impossible to stop. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Russell Wessel on the floor for Washington. Brown out there with Len. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Neto in at the point guard. Here's Giannis after the basket by Washington. No good from Connaughton. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Westbrook. It's not going to go for him. The Bucks go the other way with it. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. There's the lob to Portis. Four on three break. With the teardrop. And it's Brown missing. Bucks leading by five. Giannis with it. Westbrook picks him up. Here's Middleton. Some solid defense from Brown. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. This one for three. Good on the three-point shot. Brown's got himself on the board with three there. You know, how about the big fella making the right play there to create that bucket? Augustine with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Onto the Kumbo, no good. Wizards have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Neto can't get it to go. Bucks have gone 0 of 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Giannis drives in. There's the triple. And there's Augustine. That's good on the assist by Giannis. And the Bucks lead by five. DJ Augustine has turned himself into a feared three point threat. Beautiful. Here's Westbrook. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Here's Neto. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. Cloak loose. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. The Wizards with another miss. Milwaukee leading by seven. Brown with it. Now guarded by Middleton. And it's Neto in the corner. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. The rebound by the Bucks. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. A smooth athlete with that near seven-foot wingspan. Brown has the positional versatility that every team craves. And, Greg, it's not just the physical attributes. Brown is smart. He's highly skilled. He played point guard in high school, so you know you can run the offense through him. He's got great handle, great instinct, so much to like. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Westbrook scanning the floor over onto the Kumbo and the rejection by onto the Kumbo. And the officials call a traveling violation. Bucks ball. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Bryn Forbes comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Holiday in for Augustine. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Here's Forbes. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. 
Forbes has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Washington's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Westbrook dishes to Lopez. They could use a bucket. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, if he gets in close, you, you think fouling Robin Lopez, that's not the best outcome. He can knock those free throws down. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. You know, with Robin Lopez, a career mid-70s free throw shooter, we'll take that any time from the center position. And he's good on the second. And here's Holiday. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Twenty-six seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's the floater, and that one is good. Holiday's got the lead up to 11 now for Milwaukee. From the Wizards, they're shooting a rough 22% so far in this one. Now here's Westbrook. Just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. Great awareness in crucial situations. Nicely done. And so it's Milwaukee. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 10 points, 2 assists, and 3 blocks. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. As expected, the King has ruled the court. One of the smartest players ever. Can't throw anything at him he hasn't seen. If the defense adjusts, so does he. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Wizards. Their inaccuracy from behind the arc was brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you could scrap that. They need to get back to the basics. Pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Yeah, he's been nothing short of a wall at the rim so far in this one, single-handedly providing great rim protection. If he is in the area, he's going to challenge your shot. He's going to block it, alter it. He's going to have an impact. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars that you've drafted and developed 
to stay and resign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. That's a solid blueprint. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the five, down low. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Wizards trail by 11. Outside Westbrook. There's the feed to Matthews. Back to Westbrook. Tries a three. Connects from three-point range. Westbrook's got his third basket of the night. I love how Westbrook rises and fires immediately. Ball touches his hands and it's gone before you can blink. Now Holiday. Middleton on the wing. Five to shoot. Here's Westbrook. Over in the corner, Avdia. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. There's the pass to Len. Back to Westbrook. And he uses the glass on the layup. Westbrook's got five points in the quarter. I can't imagine the energy expended by Russell Westbrook. Always a threat to score, even when he's getting knocked around. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded closely. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Denny Avdia picks one up. And you see Middleton on the perimeter a lot, but he's really been trying to add strength to that 6'8 frame so he can mix it up a little more inside. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Middleton. And really, from second round pick to all-star, Middleton's story, inspirational Yet even now, it feels like some people continue to sleep on it. Both shots good from the stripe. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Westbrook against Holiday. And Westbrook throws it down hard. Well, it might be an understatement to say that's power at the rim. Go ahead, Russell Westbrook. Holiday against Westbrook. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Giannis outside. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. And guys, that's a sight we've become far too accustomed to seeing. Antetokounmpo throwing it down like it was just another day at the office. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got 11. It's good. Uh, they didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Holiday surveying the floor. Middleton outside. The fadeaway, and the foul called on Atatekumbo. That is his first foul of the game. 
That's Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Troy Brown's checked in for the Wizards. The Bucs also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Outside Westbrook. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Lenz got his first basket of the night. Well, just terrific instincts right there from Alex Len on the offensive glass. Really impressive. Outside, Ana Dekumbo, and they double up Ana Dekumbo. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Ana Dekumbo's got his third assist on the night. Matthews passes to Hachimura. 153 left to play in the third. Here's Westbrook. Here's Len. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is called getting a better understanding of the game. How and when to attack Len going to the free throw line. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done differently, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of those. Yes. Well, Alex Len has the kind of length and interior game to make himself valuable. The solid big man, somebody you want in your rotation. The Wizards making a switch here. Bonga's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. Both free throws good from Len. 144 left in the third. Holiday with it. Giannis outside. Pass to Portis. Here is Forbes. It's stolen by Brown. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebound Milwaukee. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And taken away by Brown and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bucks leading by five. Here's Connaughton. Hits the three-point bomb. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Wizards. Pass to Hachimura. That shot missing. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. The Bucs have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Here's the three. Milwaukee the rebound. Washington's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Brown. The rebound by the Bucks. Onda DeCumbo's got four rebounds now tonight. It's intercepted. And here we go. And the dunk by Hachimura. Wow, the ability to get off your feet in a hurry. Rui Hachimura with the dunk. Milwaukee in the lead. And here's Holiday. Here's Ante Tacumbo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Ante Tacumbo's got six here in this quarter. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm Assist of the Game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Wizards trail by eight. Robin Lopez out there with Rui Hachimura. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Bunga in at the small four. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Now here's Lopez. And stolen by Portis. Here's Giannis. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's his first Just simply foul. overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven-foot frame. The Wizards making a switch here. Av Diaz checked in. The Bucs also changing it up. Lopez comes in for Portis. And Middleton subbed in for Pat Connaughton. Free throw good, Giannis. And the 22nd pick in 2015, Bobby Portis with a nice shooting touch. And at the same time, not afraid to mix it up. M maybe to a fault. At times we've seen him get caught in the heat of the moment. You've got to channel that competitive edge and stay strong mentally. Bucks leading by 11. Now here is Holiday. Takes it down to Middleton. Three-pointer. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hands. Here's Neto. He dishes it to Abdia. It's hauled in by Giannis. Onto the Kumbos. Got rebound number five here tonight. Score the basket, his eighth, eight for 13 from the floor. And how about the effort? You didn't think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Yeah, I think one thing Coach will address from this time out right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? Matthews, he's checked in for Raul Neto. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. <laughs> About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Now, here's Avdia, defended by Middleton, and plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Shooting for Washington, Denny Avdia, at the line for two. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Now Holiday, pass to Lopez, fires from deep. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And the Bucks lead by 18. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, 
but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Holiday with the three. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Wizards have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And he comes up with the deuce. Westbrook's got 11 in the second half. Well, you have to respect the physicality of Russell Westbrook. This guy plays with power, and he will go right through a defender. Holiday finds out to combo. Here's DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. No good on the triple. Wizards trail by 16. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Banga. He can't hit that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Outside Holiday. Now here's Middleton. Tight defense on him. And good that time. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And the Wizards making a change here. And that one falls for Middleton. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Wizards. Trailing by 19. Matthews passes to Len. And the dunk by Len. Oh, that one fires up his teammates. Len's passion leads to the monster dunk. Middleton looking it over. Launches a three. No good on that one. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Bucks. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Wizards have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. And what a play just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. And the Bucks with possession. They're on a 14 to 5 run here. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Lopez. And again, the Bucks miss. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Matthews. Trying to get open is Len. Holiday with it. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? You know, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself and try to wait, wait for my time to finish it. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you.